In this video, we are going to go over the filters on the Explorer screen, how to sort by category and how to sort by amenities and even how to group your um, searches. So if you want to have campgrounds with electricity and Wi-Fi, how you can save that as one group. So with a simple click of a button, those are the only places that shows. I'm going to launch the app. And the first thing you'll notice is that currently I have ads displayed, meaning that I have a free, I'm using the free version of the app. And if I tap on the filter icon, um, there are several different filters that you can select from. So you can say, show me places within the last three months that are established campgrounds and say, okay. And currently I don't have anything displayed in my area. So I'm going to go and clear those filters and select something else let's just say show me all established campgrounds so there are several so it could be that within the last three months nobody has checked into these specific points now if you were to subscribe you have access to the load and save filters feature so load filters um, if you have a specific criteria let's say uh, you want to search within two years of established campgrounds or established campgrounds that was verified within two years, um, you can save that as a group and you can load that by just tapping a button. So I'm going to go and log in quickly um, and then subscribe and then show you how that works. So now that I'm logged in, you'll notice that the ads are gone and I have uh, subscribed so I can unlock some of these other features, the filters, saving it by category or a specific group of filters. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to show if I want to say establish campground that has uh, fast internet. I'm going to say OK and I'm going to say just within the last five years and I'm going to say save that filter. And then I'm going to go save at the bottom. And that saves the filter group for me. And then you can load it. Say established within five years. Load that. Go back to the Explorer screen. And now you'll see any established campgrounds that have been verified within the last five years pops up on your screen and if you want to go and change that you can simply go to load filters say established only load them and now you'll see um, all the other campgrounds pop up as well so if you want specific criteria for your uh, filters with a simple click that's how you're going to do load and save filters now the other thing on the filter screen is you can show all closed places so places that has been closed um, I'm going to clear all these filters and just show that. And this will also show all the other pins, but now you will see the gray pins um, for places that have been closed. And they could be closed for various different reasons. Could be seasonal, um, could we, you know, it was out of order at the time, or something like that. I'm going to turn that off, and then I'm going to say show only my favorites. So if you have any favorites added to your, um, to your account, you can go and just show your favorites. So you don't have to see everything on the screen. Um, there's also a button on the home page on the Explorer screen. That's the three little pins. If you tap that, it'll show only your favorites and you tap it again, it'll show all your pins. So this is a quick shortcut on how to get to that favorites button, but that is in the main menu. And then lastly, there is show places that only have images. And this is a really uh, fun little feature where if a place has images and you need to know what's going on there, then you can see um, if those images are associated with a place, if it has been update uploaded in the past, um, you can now sort places by images. A really handy feature if you want to see uh, what you're getting yourself into, um, if there's low clearance or anything like that. And in this case, you can see, you know, we can park a bus there. so. You should be fine. So that is the filter screen. Thanks for watching and uh, always new updates coming out. So keep on looking back. And uh, if you have any suggestions, please let us know how we can improve things.